Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the eight best sewing books with clothing patterns in. So if, like me, you like to get a bit of a bargain or you just kind of like having something as a whole package, then sewing books with patterns included are fantastic for this. Some of the main reasons I love books with patterns in is because you kind of have everything you need to know from the actual pattern, the fabrics that go with it, you know, the actual maker has tested these out and, you know, knows every kind of little detail that you need to know about it. And it's like everything is in there that you need, especially if you're a beginner and you're a little bit unsure, this is a great way of kind of easing yourself in. I also really like that you can get multiple patterns in a book along with all the knowledge and information that you will need, want, uh, even not sure that you need it but you'll find it useful anyway all in a book for anything from you know £10 to £30 so before we get into the video make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos so the first book on the list is the Great British Sewing Bee Sustainable Style so I have this one I got it when it first came out I think I found it in Costco for like £13 which was ridiculous but yeah so it's really good it's going to like this little hard back kind of card body um, sleeve and then you open it up and then you've got the patterns here that are all like clearly marked out for you so these are really easy to follow so then you've got the book itself here and then in there you've got everything you need to know about sewing so of course the sewing bee books are meant to kind of cover everything because they're kind of covering the fact that they've attracted a new audience and people who might not be into sewing might now be into sewing so they cover everything from the very beginning basics to everything you need to know about making garment and everything else so this is why I really enjoy books like this because they are fantastic for beginners and they're just really useful. I also really love this book because they've done variations to patterns and they do unisex patterns. So they've created patterns that can be used for men, women, you know, everybody. And they've also got variations. So if you don't like it in the jumpsuit style, you can make it in the play suit style. Or if you want a longer length dress, you can do. And things like that, they've really kind of added extra value to the book and the patterns doing that. So the Great British Sewing Bee bring out a book every single time they've done a season. So there's new one ready to be released, which I'm very excited for and probably will be buying it but I did buy one from a couple of seasons ago and I don't know which one it was from it doesn't say but this is another one and it's so your own wardrobe and it can it comes with a pack which have the patterns in so you get so many patterns in there and then same with the book you've got all the knowledge you, you need to be able to make those garments and kind of know anything you need to know about sewing especially if you're a beginner shows you everything you need to know the pattern layout you know fabrics and everything sizes and it shows you how to do it as well so it's got everything you need in there and that's what i really love about these kind of books number two is tilly and the buttons make it simple so I bought this uh, not long ago. I've only used it one or two times so far, but I've read it a few times just because I like to read through and then go back to kind of work out what I want to make. Obviously I've been doing some tabbing as you can see, cause I've gone through everything that I want to make and now it's just a matter of doing it. So Tilly and the Buttons do a multiple different books. I will be talking about those more later on because another one makes an appearance on this list but yeah they make it simple very easy to follow very simple all her clothing um, and patterns are very to me very straightforward very simple nothing too fancy or too complicated so if you are a beginner and you're looking at getting into sewing and you're just not sure Tilly and the Buttons is a great place to start. Number three on the list is Tilly and the Buttons Love at First Stitch. So I said she was going to make another appearance on this list and so she has and this was I think one of her first if not her very first book that she brought out and it was all about you know love at first stitch you know beginner's guide everything like that so it's got packed full of information if you are new to sewing and you're kind of just trying to get hands on 
um, and really understand the whole world of sewing in general. With that one you'll get five full scale sewing patterns and though you get less in the book they are just they're very good, very easy to follow um, and they, it's not over complicated with anything and there's not too much and it's not too overwhelming especially if you are new to sewing. So number four on the list is Breaking the Pattern, A Modern Way to Sew. So this book is a little bit different, it does include around 20 ways to sew like different patterns. These are either patterns that come with the book or variations of those patterns. So there is a lot to take in, a lot to do with that book. So if you can get your hands on it, it's definitely worth picking up because you do get a lot for your money. Again, it's got everything you need to know about the pattern, the sizing, the materials, everything to make that garment. Um, so it's very handy to have and it's a little bit different to the previous ones. It's got a little bit more, what I would say, a bit more like a modern look. It's a little bit more decorative in certain areas, but also very functional as well at the same time. Number five is the Maker's Atelier, the essential collection sewing with style. So this book embodies eight full size sewing patterns with variations and kind of like adaptations that kind of make up to around 30 different patterns and styles in the end. So this book, even though it's got only eight basic kind of forms, it really does expand the kind of knowledge. So if you're looking for the next step up or you're looking for a bit more of a challenge with patterns, then this is really good for you. If you're looking at doing like drafting your own patterns or you know creating your own style, making things a little bit different, this is really good because it kind of expands your knowledge and your creativity with kind of shapes and everything else within sewing. Number six on the list is the Dressmakers book and that's by Alison Smith. So this one has I think 13 downloadable patterns so you get the book and then you'd go and find your link, find the description, everything else and download the patterns from there. That's great because uh, if you don't want to hold on to paper patterns, you just want to print off the ones you want, that's great. But the disadvantage with there is that you don't physically get them, so you still have to get them printed or you have to print them and cut them out yourself, which sometimes is a bit of a pain, but it's a new way of doing it and it's interesting, it's different. So Alison Smith, if you don't know, has done a number of these books. Um, there's a crochet one, I've got it behind me over here somewhere. There's a knitting one and there's something else, maybe embroidery. Um, I only have the crochet one right now. I'm trying not to buy too many books because we are still in our house and we're looking at moving. So I'm trying to tone things down just a little um, before we move and then I can go and split. So those 13 patterns are kind of used as bases. Um, but very much like the previous book, the patterns are kind of used as a base, uh, you can use them as they are, or you can use the variations that are kind of not talked about in the book to create another around 30 garments um, of you know variations from those patterns, which is fantastic because you're really getting a lot for your money within the book and it's just a really good learning curve. So number seven on the list is Wendy Ward sewing with knitted fabrics. So I am only just really getting comfortable, I think maybe not just right, but I'm only just kind of getting comfortable with sewing with knitted fabrics. I learned a lot of using cotton and silk and satin, so I was used to the other end of the scale kind of thing. So for me to go to knitted where it stretches and everything is very much like out of my comfort zone. So I read up and I'm actually going to get this book because I think it would really help me kind of develop those skills, feel more comfortable with using knitted fabric and stretch fabrics. So that is what I'm going to do. So if like me, you are a little bit worried about using stretch fabrics and you can like, mm, I don't know, is it going to just, how do I do this? What do I do? This is a really good book for that. Wendy Ward is similar to Tilly and the Buttons where she's got a couple of different books within the sewing niche. So if you like that book, then she does have more that you might be interested in. So the Wendy Ward book comes with six patterns which create around 20 variations as well. So this is really good if you're looking to get really good value for your money in these books. And number eight on the list is Great British Sewing Bee from Stitch to Style. So this is another one where it's got Patrick and Esme on the front. Everybody loves Esme, I do, <laughs> she's so cute. 
Um, so this is one from a couple of series ago and it's a fantastic book. It's got so many different patterns in it. Again, it's very much like the other ones where you've got all the wealth of knowledge from these people, you know, everything you need to know from what fabrics to use, what kind of cotton to use, you know, all these different kind of materials to use and um, tools that you'll need and it's just fantastic, jam packed and you get some really nice pans as well. So of course there's plenty more books on the market, I'll leave a link in the description to all these books where you can find them, buy them, I'll also leave a link to my blog post because I've written a full blog post on this if you want to check that out and yes it's just full of information if you want to have a closer look at any of the books. Thank you for joining me on this video, make sure you check out my other videos, I'll leave links to the side in the description, everything. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one, bye.